you know, many people have got the idea that they have to be good in order to be loved. They don't even have to be good in order to be loved. They are loved here unconditionally. And neither are they uh, criticized or judged in any way because we're all cracked here as well. We're all perfectly imperfect. So we just come alongside people and befriend them and nobody plays God here. And people respond to that, I believe, because as I said, it's that nurturing, that love. Lots of people have been victims of conditional love. It's a thing that is egocentric. It, uh, it's a love that says, I will love you on condition that you give me something in return. And if you don't give me something in return, I will withhold that love. It's a very effective way of disciplining children, for example. It's a very cruel way. Because um, the dreadful thing about it is you only have to do it once. The threat of it is enough after that. But the love we give here is the kind of love that emanates from the lilac tree or the apple blossom tree. It's a love that cannot but give. You might be a rapist, you might be a thief, you might be a liar, but you still get to smell its sweet scent. We expect nothing in return. We just give. And, um, and what we give here as well is something which is quite precious to us. And a gift really is giving something that means the world to you and you give it away for nothing. It's not an aftershave or a book token. Mm. And what means the world to us here uh, are our recoveries. And that is what we give away for nothing here. Nobody pays a penny here for anything. Um, and that was the result of me seeing people being turned away from treatment centers because they didn't have the funding, mm. being turned away with their black bags to die on the streets of Birmingham and Manchester and London and places like this. And I vowed that if I was ever in a position to help uh, addicts like myself, that that would never happen again. Nobody would ever have to pay for anything here for the help they need. And they haven't. And they never will. <laughs>